Namaskar, Maharishika. Namaskar. I I'm come out of like a, the, the non-dual practices with men with beards and slowly <laughs> going more into the body. And I was wondering uh, what other practices are there besides going to source that are helpful on the path? Since you've mentioned that you've come from the non-dual practices, it's very important to feel the body. One of the practices that I've asked people to, to do when they've started out with their sadhana is to actually touch themselves, to touch the body and say, this is me, this is me, this is me, you know? This is me, Luke, this is me, Luke, this is me. Because, especially in the non-dual practices, the ego is supported completely to believe I am that, that's what is said, I am that. So all of this that's happening around is not me. It isn't you, yes, but you are not that. And your this, which is you, has to bear all that's happening. But it's being born without your conscious presence, because you're that, and you're just sort of letting it all happen. So the first thing to do is to actually accept that this is you, you know? That the materiality of this body is what you are. If the Neo-Advaitans focus so much on the idea that you are the Soul, I am the Soul, who is that I that is saying that? It's Luke, right? And would Luke be there if there were no body? No. So Luke is actually an invention of this body. Because Luke is an invention of his thinking. Even just as a name, it is in the thoughts. So you can't be Luke if you don't have a body. If you are not the body, you can't be a Luke. And you can't be an I. So if you can't be that without the body, then how can that I be the soul? You know what I mean? The very idea I am that, is a statement of the ego. It's a full-blown statement of the ego. And this entire New Age trip, it's taken over the world, obviously coming mainly from a misrepresentation of, of the Advaita philosophy by the Western world, by America, which, as I said, is the big cauldron, and is now being projected all over the world, based on an ego idea, I am that. So therefore, in order to counteract all that beardy nonsense, you will need to actually go down into the here and the now, into this, and start to admit, okay, this, this, this is me, yes, this is Luke. These toes are Luke. These ankles are Luke, this knee is Luke, this body is Luke, this is Luke, and yes, there is the Soul, there is the Source. Move into this moment and train yourself and tune in to the Soul, to start to be an instrument of that Master that is within. No? You start with actually touching yourself and feeling yourself and, and appreciating this beautiful, beautiful, amazing experience of embodiedness. And you're very lucky that you've come out of that nonsense now, not have to do it at 80, like so many people we have seen in Tiruvannamalai, and in Rishikesh. They are 75 years old and they still think that they're that, and they're neither this nor that, and when they have to deal in the thisness, they don't know anything of how to deal with it, and when they have to deal with the thatness, that also they don't know. It's an aberration and a misrepresentation. So it's good that you're out of it, start with thisness, you know, and become normal. Spirituality is not abnormal nonsense, it's very real, it's very practical, it's very here and now, and it's very present, because the cosmic and the terrestrial are actually two sides of the same coin, they are both material, and they are both here and now, and that's where you belong, 
otherwise you can be a soul flying around somewhere but you're not, so you have to celebrate the embodiedness and it will be fine, you will be in touch with yourself and once you're in touch with yourself in surrender the sweetness of that surrender will bring you more and more and more into the reality of this life around you and to act as an instrument of Truth Do you understand you. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, definitely Okay Thank you